you're walking along the street or you're at a party or you're alone and then you suddenly dig you're looking in someone's eyes you suddenly realize this could be the start of something big you're lunching at 21 and watching your diet declining a charlotte russe accepting a big when out of the clear blue skies it's suddenly yelling guy and this could be the start of something big there's no controlling the unrolling of your fate my friend who knows what's written in the magic book but when a lover you discover at the gate my friend invite her in without a second look you're up in an aeroplane or dining at Sardi's Or you're in Malibu alone in the sand You suddenly hear a bell and right away you can tell This could be the start of something great Hey ho oh, hey There's no controlling the unrolling of your fate my friend Who knows what's written in that magic book But when a lover you discover at the gate my friend and find her in without a second look You're up in an aeroplane or dining at Sardis Or you're in Malibu alone in the sand You suddenly hear a bell and right away you can tell This could be the start of something This could be the start of something This could be the start of something I'm Tony Danza, this is my band, and we're live from New York City one more time. It's the Tony Danza Show. On today's show, Tony takes a look back at the past two seasons with very special guest, Liza Minnelli. Video highlights of his favorite moments, surprise guests you won't want to miss, plus a live performance by Tony and his band. Now, here's your host, Tony Danza. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. All right, park it. As we say in the neighborhood, park it. Okay. Welcome to the last show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody at home and here in the studio. Uh, it is a, uh, it's a sad moment and yet a very happy moment. Uh, it's Friday, first of all, so that makes it happy. And uh, by the way, how about my band? Mr. Lenny LaCroix, John Arbo, Eddie Cagavelli, and Mr. Dave Shoup. Thanks, guys. They're going to be here through the whole show. You know, if this band don't desert me, then there's nothing in this world can hurt me. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, so, um, you know, I got a lot to say, and unfortunately, there's no tomorrow, so I got to get it all in today. Um, number one, um, uh, you know, when they came to me with this job uh, a number of years ago, I, I didn't want to do it. I really didn't want to. You know, I, I thought, I'm an actor, you know, even if I was the only one who thought I was an actor. <laughs> I was an actor, but anyway, I mean it, I just, I didn't want to do it, and then, and I think if I knew how it was going to turn out, that I'd be standing here saying goodbye, I probably wouldn't have done it, but uh, I would have missed out on something very special. Uh, do we hear somebody else talking besides me? Anyway, uh, nothing like a mistake on the last show. Um, but uh, seriously, I would have missed out on something special, you know, coming back to New York, uh, reconnecting with the city, uh, the people, how they embraced me. It's, it's just been, it's been an amazing thing. Uh, it's, it's, you know, I've had a lot of good jobs in my life. I think this is the best job I've ever had. And I'd be, and I'd be lying, I'd be lying, thank you, but I'd be lying if I say I wasn't heartbroken. But I don't see this as a failure. You know, I see it as a, a big success, something that I'm really proud of. And, uh, and one of the reasons I think it's a success is because of the staff. You know, um, uh, the, the, you got to see this staff, folks. Young people, some just starting out in their careers, some having done it, done it for a while, but all of them tremendously committed. And uh, I'll give you an example. You know, we got fired six months ago. Six months ago we got fired. You know, when you get fired, you go home. Your, your wife says she, saw, you know, she comforts you. Your parents comfort you. Me, I get fired. i got to be on TV for six months. <laughs> 
But, but I wasn't the only one who got fired. A hundred people got fired. All the staff, all these young people who have to pay their rent and worry about it. But not one of them, not one of them for the six months threw in the towel. They worked every day. You have no idea what it's like, folks. I walk in in the morning and uh, people are running, running. At eight o'clock, you know, Karen and the audience guy, people are running out to take care of you. And, and the writers have got stuff. And the, the APs are cut. Who's cutting something? And, and the producers have their stuff ready. And it's, it's, it's just, I got to tell you, um, I couldn't have done the show without each and every one of them. And um, I, I'm a little upset that I had such a good team and I couldn't put it in the end zone. I don't even want to go there. But, but I, I mean it. I, I, I respect each and every one of them uh, from, from the, the lowest intern to the, to the, to the top guy and, and girl. And I, uh, and I just uh, I hoped, I hope that I get to work with them again sometime. I really do. Thank you, guys. Um, it was also... Some people who were here last year when the show got started are no longer here anymore, but I just want to mention them. Holly, Shane, John, Mary, and Broccoli Rob. Thank you, too, those guys. Um, uh, you know what? While I'm at it, what's the, why don't I just do, I got to just do my thank yous. I got a few. You know, I just got a, a few. I got a few. No, that's, that's just a bad joke. Actually, I know who I want to thank. I mean, let me get it out of the way. I want to thank the city of New York. I mean, it's just been the greatest thing to come back and, and reconnect with the city that, uh, that I was born in and that I love so much. The firemen, the police department, especially the sanitation department. They loaned me the truck the first day of the show. Cleanest garbage truck you've ever seen, I got to tell you. But it was like, you know, my father was a garbage man, worked on the street that I lived on and went to school on, and I was always so proud of him when he dropped me off at school with the truck, you know? My first day of high school, he let me ride inside the truck. But, uh, but uh, thank you guys, for, thank you so much. I think the people in New York who are always quick to tell me things about the show, like <laughs> I had that lady who said, don't you, hey Tony, don't be discouraged. I, I, she says, you did a great job. I said, I look discouraged? She says, a little discouraged. <laughs> So I thank you so much to all the people in New York. Uh, the company that hired me, Buena Vista, you know, they, uh, they're the ones that uh, gave me a shot and thought I could do it and then, until they saw me do it, and then they weren't so sure. But, uh, <laughs> but thanks to uh, Buena Vista, Howard and the sales department, marketing promo, Kim and, uh, and, um, and, um, and everybody at Buena Vista, thank you. Uh, my, my cast member, the great Nadia DiGelinardo, my piano player, and really a music director too, folks. She's just been great. And uh, somebody who isn't here, excuse me, who was here, the great Vitrini. I want to say Erica Vitrini. Thank you out there, Erica, if you're out there. I know it's a little tedious, but let me just keep going. My crew, my, the greatest crew in the world, folks. These guys and girls who work on... Wait, wait a minute. What, what is this, the Academy Awards? You're playing me off? Get out of here. You can't do that to me. Although, it did feel pretty good, I got to tell you. Wait a second. No, I mean it. Makeup, hair, uh, Mariella, and, uh, and wardrobe, and uh, the folks in the booth. We got a shot of the folks in the booth. There they are. Thanks, folks in the booth. You're the greatest. Everybody backstage, Kenny, all my camera operators, Mish, Trish, G and, and Gene Travers, our, our, uh, our uh, prop guy who got hurt. Uh, Gene, we want you to get better. We're thinking of you, okay? Uh, Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, okay. You know, all the, all the people that work on the show, you know, there's, there's so many people that work on it. It's unbelievable, you know. So everybody who works on it in all the different uh, accounting, business affairs, thank you. The neighbors on 67th Street. Oh, I, I don't want to tell you something. I know I drove them nuts. They're going to have a celebration block party when I leave. <laughs> hey, come on. It was only one lousy camel. Anyway. <laughs> And uh, I want to thank all the guests. You know, we've had, I, I don't know, how many guests? Thousands, over a thousand guests. And all those uh, we wanted, but uh, uh, all those who did the show and all those we wanted but wouldn't do the show. Maybe they knew something we didn't. <laughs> all the all-powerful publicists, especially mine, uh, Jill Fritzo. Um, let's see, oh, the official Italian restaurant of the Tony Danza Show, Patsy's. The official watering hole of the Tony Danza Show, Elaine's. And Elaine, you're the greatest. You're a real pal, and I appreciate it. Jake's for Thirsty Thursdays. Pat Sanna, my driver, who got me to Thirsty Thursdays and, more importantly, got me home. Nick and Tony's, you know, after I got canceled, I really didn't want to go too far. Again? <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't want to go too far, so Nick and Tony's right across the street, and they were always there for me, so thank you. Paul Zaccalillo, my security, I never felt safer. Tried to get an Irish guy, but hey. Um, <laughs> Uh, Benny Cash is Benny. Uh, we got a guy, uh, a guard for ABC, who watches over the guests upstairs, and uh, he's really been a tremendous support. Uh, all the people, all the wonderful teachers and the students at all the makeovers we did at the schools, they inspired us all greatly with their uh, commitment to education. Uh, the makeover sponsors, all the companies that helped us, Microsoft, Home Depot, uh, Mark Montano especially, but, but especially Samsung and Peter Weedfold, uh, their hope for our education program is something that, uh, that really can make a difference, and I was proud to be part of that. All the sponsors, the companies that bought time, the individuals who, who gave us giveaways for the audience. And I got a couple today, folks. That's another thing. Uh, Disney 
visa for extravaganza. Extravaganza will never sound right again. <laughs> the Oliver Garden and Chef Paolo for their tremendous support. The ukulele people, my arm's even feeling better. Thanks to Frank Mastropolo and, uh, and uh, BestBuy.com and Idaho Percussion and, uh, and also Phyllis Webb and Jumpin' Jim Bell, uh, Belloff for, uh, for sending me the flea and the fluke. All the people in ABC, you know, I was walking around ABC as, uh, as I've been going, and, and people I have never had any contact with say to me, we're going to miss you, Tony. So thank you, everybody here at ABC. It's been, it's been great. Uh, it's been great. San Stanford and Jimmy in the front. Come on, keep going. Get up. There we go. Come on, keep going. The Reebok gym keeps me in shape. Paul DeBreck, where I got my feet done. Natasha Lunder, who, remember, purezeal.com. They'll never be the same. <laughs> Balducci's, I'm so sorry about the spat. We should break bread together. Does... Does anybody know if they still have a bread department? <laughs> all the neighborhood stores, Thomas's Drug, the newsstand, the Varda Shoe Stores, all my relatives in New York, uh, especially, of course, my Uncle Phil and my Aunt Fran, I love you dearly. My cousin Jerry, she was an associate producer on the show, but she also was there for me every day. My doctors, my general practitioner, Dr. Cadet, <laughs> Dr. Glashow, and Annie Gow, who did my elbow, Dr. Glickle, who did my finger, and Lou Yi, who did my knee. <laughs> Sebastian, one of the great assistants of all time. I don't know what I'm going to do without my man, Sebastian. Uh, I have a feeling someday he's going to be running a network and I'll be working for him. Station managers, program directors all over the country, thank you for giving me a shot. I appreciate the, uh, the opportunity. Keep going. I don't want to thank him. Um, Regis, my Brokeback Mountain partner, my pal, my mentor, a great supporter and friend. And, and I'll be there for him if he ever loses one of his 42 jobs. <laughs> My wife for letting me come and taking care of the kids. My daughters for calling me every couple of months. Uh, Nicholas and Mark for being great guests and, a great, and great kids. Julie for giving birth to my best guest, my grandson, and, and for taking care of his dad. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, my studio audience, you know, you're the last of them. You know, every day, rain or shine, it was packed in here. I mean, I'd go outside and people say to me, I can't get in to see Tony. I couldn't get into the show and I never thought I'd hear those words. Couldn't get in to see Tony Danza. Bizarre, but, it, but I appreciate that. Everybody who came to the show, I really mean it. It meant, meant a lot to me. Lastly, the home audience, thank you for watching. I know it's not easy getting used to having an Italian running around your house, but I really appreciate it. And, uh, and um, I, I don't know what else to say. You, stop playing already, come on. Keep going. Come on, get up there. Is that it? That's it, right? That's all I can do. All right, that's all the thank yous. I got them all in. I've done it. Right. We're going to play. Oh, one more thank you. One more thank you. Carol Kane. Carol Kane gave me a, a, a Tiffany harmonica. Carol, thank you. I love you so much. But you know what? Your card was better than even the harmonica. But I'm going to learn how to play this, baby. I'm going to learn. Um, you know, here's my horoscope today. You ready? You think I'm kidding? This is crazy. This is an ideal day to finalize a deal that you may have had doubts about in the past. Ay, ay, ay. And then, you know that stupid thought for the day calendar? Listen to this one. Skip or a boat. Then at least once you can be complete control and make all the rules. <laughs> uh, listen, you know, we're clearing out the, the stock of T-shirts, so we got everybody a T-shirt again. This is the last of them. What else? You know, where's... Where, look, look who's in the audience. A lot of celebrities came back to see me. Rocky the parrot came to see me. Rocky, anything to say? Thank you, Rock. Thanks very much. Uh, what? Oh, there's a... Regis sent me a message? Oh, well, let's see it. Tony, I want to say goodbye. You know, it's been wonderful having you on the block on 67th Street, living next door to me and uh, being the show that follows ours. And I want to wish you the very best. You know, you're a pro. You're going to wind up on your feet. Who knows what's going to happen next in your life? But I want you to know you made great impact here in New York and on everybody here. It was great to see a hometown guy come back to New York and, and be a success. And I just want you to know I'm going to have trouble getting over you. You know, Tony, that picture we took together means a lot to me. It's in my room. It's in my life. Thanks, Reese. I appreciate it. I love you. I love you. Right. Oh, wait. Doorbell. Doorbell. Oh, look. It's a meatball. Must be Sal Scogdamilla from Patsy. Come on in, Sal. Holy. That's a meatball, huh? Holy mackerel. That's, uh, that's some meatball. Huh? Some spicy meat. Hello, Sal. Thanks for coming. Thanks for Thank coming. Thank you for having me. Oh, Thank hey, you. listen, I appreciated all your support, all, all the time you were here, all, this, all the, the dinners and you being on the show. You were great, and I appreciate so it. So much you do for us, and you got every reason to be proud and hold your chin up high. All right, well, you know, you... you Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey! One last time, what did you bring? What did you bring? We you got, got a jar of sauce for everyone in the audience. All right, so you got to get some sauce. sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, I love you. Sally, kid.
Tell you, keep bothering them. Your mom and should I, all right? And Frankie. Okay, I'll Frank. see you. I'll be in the restaurant. Take care. Thanks, Al. Thank you. Okay. Let's get back to normal. It's time to play our game where a home viewer can win up to $5,000 on a Disney Visa gift card. It's a little game we like to call... Some folks, folks, we made a little bit of a, 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 you know, a little adjustment on the board. Can we see the board now? Let's see the hands on the board. Goodbye, hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's no more of this. That was my idea. <laughs> okay. On the phone, we have Rita Margidi from Prospect Park, Pennsylvania. Hello, Rita. Hi, Tony. How's it going? Everything's going well. Sad to see you go. Oh, uh, it's okay. I'm glad that you're, you know, you're our last player. Isn't I'm, that great? I know. I can't believe All it. Right, well, look, we're going to find out how much you're playing for. We have, you know what? I'm dropping the puck. <laughs> Let me drop that puck. Let me drop that puck. Please randomly select the puck. Okay, Tony, I will. <laughs> oh, I got an in. Yeah, that's the way. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable. You're playing for five thousand dollars, Rita. Okay. All right. In which subject are you an expert? The Tony Danza show. You're an. E an expert in my show, okay. I mean, it's better than like seahorses, anyway. <laughs> okay, here it is. Which guest appeared on the show, on the Tony Danza show, during the two seasons the most? Which guest? Regis Philbin. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Take one more guess. One more guess. He's a, he was on an awful lot. He gives a lot of stuff away. Dr. Gadget. Dr. Gadget. <laughs> you win, Rita. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, Rita, thank you. You just won $5,000 on a Disney Visa, Disney, Disney Visa gift card. Thank you for playing. And uh, I'm getting a $200 gift certificate to Omaha State. <laughs> I'm going to give it to my Uncle Phil. Thank you, Tony. Rita, thank you very much. Congratulations. We'll see you. Hey, uh, Liza Minnelli's here. We'll be right back. Extravaganza is brought to you by Disney Rewards Visa. Earn rewards redeemable with no blockout dates on Disney vacations, movies, entertainment, shopping, and more. Boom! All right, so we're back. You know, uh, over the years, we had a lot of great guests, of course, and... Uh, but there's one uh, who means a lot to me. She was here for my first show, my 100th show. She was one of my favorite things. She couldn't be here today because she's singing in Berlin, but she stopped by earlier in the week to do a little tape with me. And, uh, and, and you know what I did? I made up a, we made up a little bit of a package of her uh, highlights from the show. So the highlights, and then see what happens when she shows up. Here's our friend Liza Minnelli. Now, my first guest is not just a star. She's like Miss New York. She's not even just a superstar. She's a true living legend. She's an Oscar, Emmy, Grammy, Tony, and Golden Globe Award winner. The one and only. Only Liza Minnelli. Our love is here to stay. Our love is here to stay. When you're surrounded with some of your favorite things, you just can't get any better. It just got better. When you used to go to Disneyland when you were a little kid, yeah. and you'd see Mickey, you go, ah! Oh. Well, that's how I feel sometimes when I see you. Start spreading. <laughs> I want to thank you in front of everybody for coming to the show the other night. Another opening, another show. Another opening up, another show. Please welcome Liza Minnelli. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show, guys. Oh, Tony, I'm so happy to be here. So today's the uh, the, the end of the uh, the run. Today's the end of the run and the beginning of something marvelous oh, for yeah. you. But I can't talk about it. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know something? I was thinking. Uh, over the past week, I've been so distracted. I, 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 something's been bothering me, and it's the fact that 
that this day is happening. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I'm not good with words. I stumble and I have to th think, you know, too long. I get embarrassed. Mm -hmm. But I'm very good at finding songs that can say exactly what I'm thinking. Have, have you found the song by any chance? Yes, I have, and my, my wonderful friend, Mr. Billy Stritch. <laughs> Hello, Billy. Mr. Billy Stritch, folks. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Don't like goodbyes, tears or sighs. I ain't much good at leaving time. Never was one for grieving time. Oh, no, 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 not me. So I'll be seeing you in all the old familiar. That is part of my embraces all day through in the small cafe, the park across the way, the children's carousel, the chestnut tree. The wishing well I'll be seeing you In every lovely summer's day And though it's time to part I'll say I'll always love you Come what may I'll find you in the morning sun and when the day is through i'll be looking at the moon but i'll be seeing you Thank you, Billy. I like it. Thank you so much for stopping by, honey. I love you I so love you. much, Isn't right. he the best? We'll be right back, folks. Thank you very much. Hey, listen. Uh, oh, oh, what's in here? I forgot I had a band. All right, now. Uh, what? 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 Bre breaking, breaking news. Breaking news. The bidding on eBay for the extravaganza board is over, and we have a winner. Uh, how much was it? A lot of money? Uh, a buck three eighty. I, I've been told that the new one owner is here to pick it up himself. I'm dying to see who it is. So please welcome the new owner of the extravaganza board. Come on out, sir. <laughs> Hey, you, you bought the board? I bought the board. You really? know, I thought that, you know, I got a space in my ru in my rumpus room. Really? You got uh, room for that? I, I got a rumpus room. What do you room. got here? Well, oh. I got I got a new I got new new Plinko disc. Oh, so you got ro oh, Roker. Roker. <laughs> All right. Well, come on. Uh, well, How are you? Right? I'm good. Good. I'm good. good. You know what? I, I just they said, would you come? And I, I said, I, I mean, I love you. And I love this show. And I, you have every reason to be proud of what you did. A live show in New York City, the way it should be done. Thank you, you know? very much. All right, come on. Yeah. Let's be 
Give me a step. Oh, oh, hey, by the way. Yeah. I don't know if you know, but we made a little adjustment since we're saying goodbye. Let's see the hands. Show the hands. Let's see the hands. Yeah, look at that. They wave goodbye. Good thing, you know, I was thinking if you were in a bad mood, they could have had a little finger. No, 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 no. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm in a good mood. You're in a good mood. Hey, boys, come on out and help us here. We're going to need help. Come on. We got to get I got a cab. Johnny Walker. I got a cab out waiting out for a cab. Okay, here we go. Let's take it out, boys. Hey, Mr. Al Roker, thanks for stopping by. All righty. We'll be right back. Things about the show were the cold opens, so we'd have to make them up. Many times uh, we'd be figuring it out as they were counting down to the show. Uh, most of them we did right out here, to much to the chagrin of my neighbors, but I did a little bit of a package. We'd like to go back and look at some of our cold opens. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Thanks, Bobby. I'm Tony Danza, and I'm in New York City, live. I'm Tony Danza, and I'm live in New York City. Come on, Roxy. It's Chinese New Year, and I'm Tony Danza, and we're live in New York City. He's Tony Danza, live in New York City! Hey, I'm Tony Danza, and I'm on my bad bike. I'm Tony Danza, and I ain't goofy footing. Hey, I'm Tony Danza. I'm on my mini chopper. There is nothing, nothing like an American chopper. You're an American chopper. Tony. Yeah. Hey, what about an Italian chopper? You know what signifies spring? The indomitable spirit of a little flower breaking through the crack in the sidewalk. Yeah. Oh. Uh, There's not even enough snow for a snowball. I like New York in January. How about you? Oh. Come and get another one. Tony Danza, and I'm live in the rain. Here's Tony. Oh. <laughs> it's not Marie. It's Gloria. In your Easter bonnet. Uh, 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 uh. This is no tapping zone. Oh. Oh, yeah, the neighbors in ABC Legal. I'm pretty good at it. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, get up there. Ho, oh, ho. Wait a minute. Aren't you my daughter? How you doing? Groundhog. Got a Dad. Hey, how you doing, sweetheart? You look good. You... Oh, oh, gosh, that's my wife. It's the 80th anniversary of the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, uh, ho. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great swing. Oh. oh, run, run. Run. Oh, yeah. Lay right that bunt right down. Right down there. Watch this now. Watch this. Watch me lay down a bunt cake. Get it? There you go. That's a bunt cake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chaz Pompter is going to be right over here. Oh, okay. What are you going to do? I'll go like this. Here, look. Uh, Tic tac toe. I win. <laughs> You're going down, Bradshaw. Yeah. Call it. Hey. Hey. Help me. Tell me what happens this week on 24. Tell me. Ah! It's Laverne and Tony. I'm Tony Danza, and I'm here with Cuba Gooding. I'm Tony Michelle. I'm Tony Danza, and I'm live from New York City with Judith Light. Okay. Scotty, beam him up to hair and makeup. I don't want to do that. It hurts every time I have. I got a Stormtrooper and Darth Vader. Ha! Ha! I'm Taro on Halloween, skating through the gates. You see what I mean? Here's the gates. Here's my skates. And I'm skating to the gates. You get it? Ah! I'm live in New York City. Come on, boys, let's go. Second. <laughs> I'm live here in New York City. Oh. Oh. That's it's the best we could do today. I'm Tony Danza, and I'm live from New York City. Ah. Yeah, we'll be right back, folks. Guests of the Tony Danza Show stay at the Grand Hyatt, New York, boasting luxurious accommodations with a completely renovated, sophisticated decor. Located in the exciting heart of Midtown Manhattan on Park Avenue, just steps from shopping, theater, and more. The Grand Hyatt, New York. Are we back? We're not back. Are we back? 
We're back. Put me on there. There we are. We're back. Thank you very much, folks. You know, one of the things I'm going to miss about uh, doing the show and Fridays is our, uh, is our Frank Pesh reviews, our weekly reviews. And uh, what I'm going to most miss about him is uh, his way with words, those, those famous catchphrase goodbyes. Let's take a look. I got to go. I'm going. I got to go. I got to go. I'm out of here. Get out of here. I'm leaving. I gotta go. See you next time. I'm out of here. I gotta get out of here. I'm out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go. Goodbye. I gotta go. I gotta go. Go already, my God. <laughs> anyway, guess what? He came in live today, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Pesh. Hey, Frank. How are you, buddy? All right, well. What are you doing here, Frank? I came by to thank uh, the audience and thank everybody for giving me this job on the show. The best job I ever had, paying me to go to the movies. It doesn't get better than that. That's pretty good, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, good. listen, you did a great job for us and we appreciate it. Hey, Frank, so, so how about this, since you're here, how about doing a live review? You got one more review in you? Yeah, hey, I what, 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 what would you like to review? I'd like to review the show. Oh, you want to review our show? Yeah. Oh, 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 wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Take it easy. <laughs> And uh, remember, folks, the opinions uh, expressed by Frank are solely his. Take it away, Frank. All right, it's me. I'm at the show. What's up with the green apples? How about an orange, a pear? Did I get the taste for some grapes? The apples, get them out of here. And that parrot, Rocky the parrot, he couldn't talk. I could talk. He got more airtime than I did than I, for my movie reviews. Get out of here with that parrot. And the wardrobe. Sometimes I watch the show, and you look like a TV show host. And a couple other times I'd watch it. Look like you're on your way to a softball game. Get out of here oh, with that, too. <laughs> wait a minute. All right, so how would you finish your review if you're going to die before you... On my scale of 1 to 10, you're the best. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you. I think uh, you brought something to uh, give away to the audience, huh? Yes, a great movie, 29th Street, starring that guy, Robert Forrester. The guy who always plays a cop. He plays a cop in this one. Anyway, one for everybody. It's on me. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. All right. Hey, one, one more time. One more time, Frank. Give it to us. I gotta go. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. We'll be right back, folks. You know, folks, uh, a couple of things I forgot. Uh, a couple of people, you know, the packages that you've been watching have been uh, done by my cousin Jerry Capasso and, uh, and Rich Collier. And, uh, and, and somebody I forgot to mention earlier who, who deserves a little bit of a special mention. He, his comp his uh, department books the show, but he also is a great friend of mine and been a tremendous supporter, Tommy Crudup. So thank you, Tommy. All right. Um, I told you about maybe not doing the show. Remember the path not taken? But, uh, you know, watch this tape. Uh, it's, a, it's like our big flashback Friday. It goes back a little bit further than just this week. But it shows I'm glad I took this path. And here's your host. Here it is, September 13, 2004. Tony Danza's first show. Oh, I know. Good luck! <laughs> You've started the talk show while I've been away. Yeah. You bought a suit and I shaved my leg. Oh, wow! Yeah. I'll get down with you. the most loved guy oh. in our business. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, what can I say? I don't know who the boss is, but I know who the man is. The big softball game, I can't wait. Who, who took my glove? Angela, Jonathan, Mona, Samantha. Oh. This man here, has the best meatballs you've ever had in your life. <laughs> My balls are pretty good, I gotta say. You better say it's good. 
Huh? Hey, oh. Really? He's sexy and he can cook. Something happens between the cabbage and the sauce. Yeah. Sauces. It's almost sexual, isn't it? Commend you. My pork loin is very juicy. Oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> I'm, I'm eating you. ice cream with Miss America. <laughs> I'm spearing Brajo. Now try this. If I eat one more bite of anything, I'm going to collapse. We have an oven can. Yeah, watch. Look, you. if you look down there, see you in the oven can. I like ribeye. I like ribeye yeah, a lot. I like ribeye. Cake go pua. This is the worst pesto I've ever seen in my life. Well, well, well why don't we just drink? That sounds good. Right. Yeah. So do something funny. Well, it's always... Hey. I'm doing the show like this. Same host, baby. I don't think she can take any more, Captain. No, I can't take any more. The it ship a, is old. I'm giving it all she's and got. And so am I. Extravaganza. Who are you, by the way? I'm your host, TV's Nadia DiGelinardo. Show me the monkey! Hey, we'll get out there, we'll bang some heads. I like to do that. Oh! Oh, yeah. I'll oh. knock you out. <laughs> no, no. No, no. We got this new talent booker. He is incredible. <laughs> well, you cancel the massage, and you bring a cake for Mr. Dan. I hate it. I hate a I hate a check. <laughs> See what I go to for my show. Oh, 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 oh. So great because it's a live show. Okay. All right. <laughs> Medic. You need a helmet like he's got. Oh, sorry. Let me show you how this is done, by the way. Hey, hi. We're going to play a little game, right? Okay. All right. And uh, whoever whoever wins the game... No, and there's no the... game. It's too late. We, then we, we, we scratched the game. No game. Oh, righty. Oh, no, don't do that. That's what they do. No, it's a new shoot. Now, now, now. Break it up here. Oh, my God. Oh, I got bit. I think I just got peed on. <laughs> oh. What is going on? It's Rocky! Can you say extravaganza? He won't so. <laughs> oh! Me and Julie are having a baby. My little grandson, look at this. You are Grand Magazine's Grandparent of the Year. Sexy grandpa! Thank you, thank you so, so much. Pretty fun. A lot of fun. Good job, guys. Really good job. Um, Hey, I just want to thank uh, uh, Anchor Bay for uh, 29th Street. We'll be right back, folks. Closed captioning provided by... People all over America are discovering Lunesta. More information can be found on lunesta.com or by calling 1-800-LUNESTA. Messes seem smaller with the Libman Wonder Mop. Large and absorbent, quick drying strips. And thanks to the unique ringer sleeve, your hands never touch water. Libman, family made since 1896.
a microfiber sofa sectional with exceptional quality for just $7.99. Smart styling, comfortable attitude, Jennifer Convertibles. Okay, we're back. Um, let's see, uh, you know, um, uh, by the way, this is Nadia DiGelinato. She stepped in for Lenny LaCroix. Nadia, you've been great. It's been great to work Thank with you, you. And you are more than a piano player. You are the music director, Thanks and so I appreciate much. it. Um, we were talking, what are we going to sing, you know? Uh, last song, last show. So we, we, we uh, oh, before I do that, uh, was there anything? I just want to make sure that everybody in the staff knows. I wish I could mention every single one of Mimi, Liza, Jason, everybody, right down the line. Everybody's been so great, Slade. Uh, I love you all, and I hope you know that, uh, that I'll, uh, I'm, I'm inspired by all of you, and I appreciate it. Anyway, here's the song we came up with. This is it, the final song of the final day. Off comes the makeup, off comes the clown's disguise. The curtain's falling, the music softly dies. But I hope you're smiling as you're filing towards the door. As they say in this business, that's all there is, there isn't any more. We shared a moment, and as the moment ends, I got a funny feeling We're parting now as friends Your cheers and laughter Will linger after They've torn down these dusty walls If I had this to do again If this whole thing were brand new again I would spend it with you again, but now the curtain falls. Your cheers and laughter will linger after they've torn down these dusty walls. People say I was made for this. Nothing would I trade for this. And to think, they got Rachel Ray for this. Good luck, Rachel. Folks, thank you very, very much, folks. Thank you. Keep laughing. I'll see you around. <laughs>